that loved to put out music that was just stunning or so bearing or whatever, but I don't think I have the voice for it. Music has completely taken over every aspect of my life and ruined everything. I've always wanted to be a songwriter and a storyteller and somebody who conveys a feeling to the listener or the viewer. There may be something good in silence. It's a brand new thing. You can hear the funniest little discussions if you keep turning the volume down. Shut yourself up and listen out loud. I don't feel like singing should be taken lightly. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done, but it's coming along. It's weird to try to write lyrics for somebody else. They can't really get behind what you're saying or what you want them to say because they didn't experience it. I've never been in a band where someone goes, Ah, I've got the perfect name. It's because I climbed Mount Fuji, and at the top, a golden dove came down. It's always a bunch of guys sitting around going, how about rotten chipmunks? I almost shouldn't be in Limp Biscuit. It's like I got matched in the factory with the wrong band. Selling records is fantastic, but if you're not loving what you do, and if everybody is throwing knives at you, it can get old very fast. Lemp Biscuit is my main priority, but my side project, Black Light Burns, is still a labor of love. We have a record written. So we'll see when that comes out. When we tour, we go out in a van and trailer with me driving. When playing any song in front of an audience, you're watching them experience it. And it changes in a lot of ways. It's almost like the music is just the background buzz to what's happening between you and the audience in the room.